Hi guys, this is Pete, N6QW, uh, and uh, I have a little video here about a project I'm working on. Uh, I am building an LD Moss RF amplifier, and uh, <clears throat> inherent in that project is the use of an Arduino Mega2560, shown right here, as a part of the control system. Uh, the LD uh, MOS amplifier can be pretty easily smoked if uh, you're not careful. And uh, having something uh, of the nature of the LD MOS uh, uh, amplifier control circuit uh, makes the project a reality. I want to briefly go over uh, the elements that are involved in this project. First, right here is the um, Mega 2560. Uh, it's very similar to the UNO, only it has over 50 digital inputs, 16 analog inputs, and 10 times the uh, program capacity. We're using a, a 4x20 LCD for uh, system status, using a keypad to enter data uh, into the system or cause various actions to take place. We have a 9-volt DC power supply back here that supplies power uh, to the Arduino Mega. We have a 12 volt DC power supply here, which is part of the main control element. And that 12 volt DC is uh, controlled in such a fashion as to cause these two hockey pucks right here uh, that we can see that are used as a part of starting up the 48 volt DC power supply that supplies uh, power to the LD MOS amp. <clears throat> the key element of the circuit here is this uh, motor stop start circuit. It uses two little 5-volt uh, DC relays that simulate a normally open and normally closed switch, and this is the latch relay. So when you power it on, uh, what happens is uh, you're able to latch this relay. 12 volts is applied to the hockey pucks back here, and we're able to uh, turn on the 48-volt uh, DC power supply. We also have a bank of switches down here. These are solid-state switches that control the low-pass uh, uh, filter relays and uh, there's a lot of supervisory and control circuits uh, provided here. Actually the Arduino has three major tasks. It's control to control the, the power. It's uh, supervisory to uh, watch various parameters. Uh, we're going to be monitoring things such as uh, over temperature and high SWR conditions and also to uh, provide protection. If certain events occur such as over over voltage or over um, a high SWR or over temperature, the system will automatically shut down. So uh, there's a sequence to this, and let's start first by turning on the uh, power switch right here. And what that does is two things. <clears throat> first off, it turns on the, nine, uh, the power supplies, the 9 volt DC, 12 volt DC. We can see here we've got the LCD is now powered up, and in this condition, we don't have the hockey pucks turned on over here, but it just says uh, N6QW amp control box. Now, as I said, everything is operated from the keypad, and so we're going to start the amplifier. And to do that, or start the power supply for the amplifier, to do that, I'm going to push just key one. And when I push key one, you'll notice here this little LED came on, and that means that the relay's latched. And you also look back here, there's power to the two hockey pucks. And believe it or not, I have this uh, as a load, I have it connected to a fan. I almost feel like Mr. Miyagi, fan on, fan off. So let's see what happens. Uh, notice again, this light is on, which means it's latched. And so if I hit two, that's the normal, that, that's the normal power off. That's the normal power off. And you see this LED goes off, the hockey pucks are off. Okay. So if I turn one on again, now we have uh, the power to the hockey pucks, and we have this LED on status indicating that we get power to the rail. Now, <coughs> the 12-volt uh, DC supply also, <coughs> also supplies power to these six solid-state switches, which control the low-pass uh, uh, filters. So they control the relays that will switch a low-pass filter in line. And normally with just the power on, it says uh, N6QW amp control box, system power on, which we know because we can see the LEDs. And then I just have some dummy numbers in there, but it'll actually be able to read the 48-volt DC rail, 
and it'll tell that the system is uh, normal temperature. Now, if there's an aberrant condition that the temperature uh, rises above that, some other message will appear there, and some automatic sequencing will take place to shut the uh, power supply off. But it also tells us that the TR is off, so the uh, uh, transmit receiver relay is off, and we have to select a low-pass filter. Uh, keys on the keypad four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Control the relays uh, the, for the low-pass filters. So if I punch four, you'll see on the screen here it says 160 meters, but also this LED came on here. So that means that the power to the 160 meter uh, pair of relays that put the low pass filter in line is essentially being supplied so we have the 160 meter low pass filter. Now I don't have all, uh, for this uh, test here, I don't have them all connected, uh, but uh, if I went through uh, keys four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, uh, essentially all the lamps would go in sequence but what I have done is connected up three so four is 160 five is 80 uh, six is 40 seven is 20 and so now we can see here it says 20 meters and this light comes on which means that 20 meter power is being supplied to a 20 meter low pass filter now if I go to uh, nine which is 10 meters what will essentially happen is uh, this should have come on, but it didn't, and I may have a loose connection there, which I see I do. Uh, the, the connection is loose here off the, uh, off the pin, so that should be number uh, 46. And uh, we, we can see the light going on now. So uh, it's just a loose connection. But anyway, it is uh, possible to, <coughs> uh, uh, by the keypad, uh, key in all the, uh, the various uh, low-pass filters. Now... Let's say we put the uh, 20 meter low pass filter in line and we have the hockey pucks connected and I say I want to shut this down. So when I hit 2, guess what? System power is off, output is 0. If you want to restart it, you have to push uh, the power switch on. So let's put the power switch on. And now I've got the uh, sequencing on and if I hit 7, the 20 meter filter is in line. And so we're uh, good to get, go again. Now there's another function in here is I have an emergency power off that essentially turns off the power uh, so that you can't restart it immediately. Like I shut it off uh, by engaging switch two and then turned it on by turning on switch one. Well, uh, that can be an issue and you gotta, you've got to prevent yourself. If you see an emergency condition now you can either do it manually or there can be a condition that would say boy we're over temperature high SWR and it goes to the emergency shutdown mode and if I push zero it says system power off emergency shutdown which reads on the screen notice everything is off here well you're gonna have to wait I built a, 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 uh, a, a time delay in there that says you gotta wait 40 seconds or you can pick whatever time you want. You've got to work 40 seconds before you can power this thing back on. You can push switch one all day long, and during that 40 seconds, you will not be able to turn this on. This is to give you a little time to think about what you have done and why the condition is such. And when this top line comes in, you'll know that the 40 seconds has transpired. And it seems like, there it goes, it says N6QW amp control box. So if I punch one again, you see uh, the LED is hot, the two hucky pucks are on, and we can put uh, our 20 meter switch back on. And so there we are. So um, other things that will take place here, uh, the analog inputs will be used to sense uh, in the TR condition, if, you, if you're using push to talk or box, you must close the contact. So it will sense if there's a complete circuit to ground and that will engage the TR uh, relays. Now the TR relays are powered uh, by 12 volts, but they, uh, that power source for that uh, 12 volts comes from a 48 volt to 12 volt DC, DC to DC converter. In other words, you have to have the main power supply on before you'll have juice so you can power the TR relays, and that was done on purpose. And the reasoning being is, if the 48 volts is not on, that means there's not power to the amp. You want to avoid the condition that you would put the amp in line without it being powered on, and then you'd have a very expensive dummy load. So uh, we've tried to build some safeguards in here, 
We've also built a safeguard that if you do not have a any of the low pass filters selected, there's logic in the code that says you won't be able to turn on the TR relay. So you have to have a filter in line before you can use engage the TR relay. So uh, that's what's so beautiful about having the Arduino and the, the Mega because you've got a, a lot of programming uh, capability and a lot of pins. So uh, we've tried to build some safeguard in here and the, the idea of building this uh, breadboard is so that I can test all this functionality before I actually power up any amp board. So we're going to continue to do work here. I've got to add the sensors. I, I know that the relays work. Uh, I'm not switching to 160 and you'll see it says 160 and that lead comes on and I need to reconnect that, uh, that that 10 but I've tested all the relays and this relay switching is uh, pretty cool because it gets a signal from the Arduino and essentially uh, it'll pick one of the six uh, relay banks uh, to put in line so there's a uh, separate board for that. Uh, just as a, uh, a little convenience to myself I put a little lead on here to let me visually see that um, uh, the 9 volt power to the Arduino is, uh, is, is in fact supplying power. And uh, these, uh, these six LEDs here will remain on the board, so even though I can see it says 160 meters there, this lets me know that there's actually juice to 160 meters, or if I punch uh, uh, 20 meters, which it says 20 meters right there, and I got the 20 meter LED lit right there, I know in fact I've got uh, juice to the 20 meter um, uh, bank of relays. So uh, we, we tried to build some safeguards in here, and, and if none are selected, again, you won't be able to put the amp in line. So um, I have to yet to add some other sensors in here. It will sense temperature. I have a temperature, uh, a, a little thermocouple device that will be right on the board so that I can see what the temperature is, and also be actually reading uh, the 48-volt uh, DC rail. So we'll be able to know what the, what the voltage is uh, being actually supplied. So we've uh, we've also are going to duplicate some of the, the the six LEDs that you have here on the board. That'll be internal to the amp, but for the purposes that we're uh, testing the circuitry and does the switching work, this lets us visually see. So I not only see it on the LCD, I know I really do have power here because that LED won't come on unless there's uh, juice supplied to that uh, particular switch circuit. But we'll also have six LEDs on the front panel. So in addition to the LCD, uh, I'll be able to see visually that there is really voltage. So that lets me know that's a safeguard. So uh, lots of redundancy built into this. And, uh, you know, someone asked, well, why you do that? Why did you do that? Well, let me tell you, the RF device costs 200 bucks uh, just for this little RF device that will fit in the palm of your hand. You certainly don't want to uh, smoke that device. Uh, because that could be uh, pretty serious. So again, we can turn it off manually here, and uh, you, you see the lights went out. I'll start it up again, and in this case, uh, I even have a system bypass. Now, the system bypass essentially kind of does what uh, the uh, normally off does, and it just tells you that the I, uh, amp is in bypass to restart it. And I've given some thought about uh, just bypassing the amp so that you can't um, so that you can't TR it, but have voltage supplied to, uh, to the uh, RF amplifier. Now, if there was a time delay, like a three minutes, would you, such as you have with a big vacuum tube, uh, then I might be concerned a bit about leaving it powered on, but just bypassing the amp. But it starts up pretty quick, so if I just punch one, we got part of the 48 volt DC. And uh, I, I don't think that's a problem. Uh, and the reason is I have to put some other circuitry in there that when I'd say bypass, I essentially uh, be in a situation where uh, I, I could, uh, I would have power to the amp, but then I'd have to get rid of that bypass screen. So uh, I may refine that a little further. Some other iterations that I can see would be useful is to include uh, maybe instead of the 20 by 4 LCD with the uh, blue screen with the white lettering is to use a color um, uh, TFT, uh, say a, a 240 by 320. Now that has some charm because if you had an aberrant condition, what I could do is have the screen flash red. So it would flash on and off red and that would certainly get your attention. And the, the programming is not that much more difficult, but uh, 
The screen is a little bit smaller than the 20 by 4, so you're going you're gonna to have to get up close and personal to see it, whereas, uh, you know, from five feet away I can read the screen and uh, I'd be feel pretty comfortable. So again, the project is the control system for an LD MOS amplifier. Uh, so far we've got the latch and the power. We, we've turned on our fan. I feel like Mr. Miyagi again, fan on, fan off. Um, we've got the solid state switches uh, in place to bring in the low pass filters. And now we need to add some of the other interface circuitry such as uh, uh, the TR relays uh, and that's just a, a set of a, a additional set of pins. And also uh, we're using the analog inputs to sense that we do in fact have a, a complete circuit uh, to the um, to the TR. If that circuit is not complete, then we can't uh, put the amp in line. So this is Pete, N6QW, and I thought I'd share where I am so far with this project. And I'm pretty excited about uh, what we're able to do here with uh, using the Arduino as a control system. So uh, with that, uh, I'll say my seven threes, and uh, we'll uh, we'll look forward to uh, our our next visit on this control system. N6QW, and I'll click.